This is the new standard of K-pop production. Okay, so what's up guys, and back again with Mamartin number one here, MT on the pitch home. Old work, all of us, no mina sang kwa nichiwa, and kong pang wa, back again with me to another reaction video. So, all right, all of us. So, to this video, I don't want to react the XT's videos. So, to this video, I want to react to the how editor think about the girl gang music video yeah so now i want to react to the one of youtuber is called jordan orm yeah he is uh, an editor yeah i know and always do reaction the k-pop artist mv yeah if you ask me why I'm react to the editor, yeah, because I'm an editor. I've took the multimedia school when I was in a uh, senior high school. Because of that, I know all of thing in editing, yeah, in a video production, something like that, yeah. Because of that, let's watch how the editor thing of the girl gang music video from the title of his video is xg girl gang the best mv edit ever we don't know let's check this out all right stand up this may be the most insane k-pop video i've ever seen visually right franklin he looks so scared. He's like so confused. He's like, bro, why do you have me here? Uh, for your information, I uh, react to this man, this bro, when uh, shooting star era. He's have react to the shooting star music video, but I don't upload it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we're going through hyperspace. It looks like a UFO. Yeah, you have oh. I'm not ready for this. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Okay, so we got heavy VFX right off the bat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like maybe our girls oh, are flying in a spaceship. Hmm. What the frick happened in the left-right spaceship? Maybe they accidentally turned right before left, and now it looks like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Looks like a left-right music video. I saw somebody say that on Reddit, and I thought it was really funny. Mm. Because it looks a little bit different than it used to. Yeah. This is like the bad guy spaceship or something. I don't know. <laughs> but the visual effects are crazy. Yeah. All right, let's talk about that. Instead of just showing this cinematic, well-lit, framed shot of a motorcycle, we actually mm. introduce a human element into it. Whenever you can have some kind of perspective giver, it always will take it up mm. to the next level. There's a motorcycle. It just really elevates the shot. And then we do a tilt-down transit. Oh, yeah, yeah, tilt-down transition. Now, lots of these transitions I usually say are very cheesy and they are cheesy because they're unmotivated. But in this case, we have lots of vertical lines created by the lights here. Mm, the vertical line. Here, which then actually makes sense because it looks similar to the vertical lines created mm -hmm. when you do a tilt down transition. So I actually kind of like it in this scenario. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Now let's talk about the second half. After we tilt down, we start, you know, going straight into the metaverse through the glasses. Dang. <laughs> we 
literally enter her brain. Those are neurons for sure. Yeah. And then we transition from the neurons to bubbles. And we mm, neurons of bubbles. As this is like one of those underwater POV shots where you know the classic shot where somebody is like washing their face mm. and then you see it from like the drains perspective. That's the shot that we have here. And then as she lifts her head up, we cut to a super freaking slow-mo where she's lifting her head up and we can see just water droplets. That's all we see. And then the water drop rock. Right when the beat drops, we cut to a wide shot revealing what we're actually seeing. These visuals are crazy. It, it just I love that shit. They're wild. Yeah. Mm. But the part that makes that cut so good and impactful is contrast. So to contrast the really fast head whipping coming up right on the downbeat, we actually show that slow motion shot with the water droplets to contrast the quickness of the next shot. Yeah. So that droplet shot happens right on the silence before the kick comes in. Mm. So the teacher used to call it a vacuum of sound. And when you have a vacuum of sound, that's also contrast creating focus because you go from no sound to a lot of sound. I'm in conflict. In this scene, it looks like the background is flickering naturally on set. So they actually use that as motivation. Oh, yeah. To do some color cuts, some quick flashy cuts. And we also have a hi hat in the producing that motivates those flashy cuts as well. It's so good, Franklin. Oh my gosh. Lots of times when I've explained match cutting in the past, I just say you match the position of somebody between shots. The position of the subject here doesn't actually match, but what mm, yeah. match cut transition does match is an effect. But what they do is have a sort of lens flare effect. Mm. Like there are a lens flare effect. Cutting her hand, and then in the next shot. Yeah. Oh. You're so detail, bro. Uh, they actually had that exact same effect, highlighting her hand. The editor just created a match cut out of nothing. That is incredible editing. I need yeah. way better. <laughs> yeah. It's so quick, but so helpful. Also, to get out of this shot, we use a film burn, which often... Ooh, yeah, the film burn. Sometimes film burns are red. And then we use that film burn to motivate us to cut into... To this to a shot with a red light from the uh, red light cycle and our member is actually completely dissolving oh. with visual effects. All of these streaky things on the shot are just overlays. This thing looks super high budget, but I feel like it's actually not that expensive because they just used a normal soundstage, which isn't too expensive. And then they just put all their money in VFX to make it look crazy. So mm -hmm. compared to a music video like shot in a city on location, this actually might be cheaper. <laughs> There's so much to talk about. I can't. I just okay, guys. I'm sorry. This is gonna be like the longest video ever. If you're not a editing nerd, you might hate this. But oh, yeah, yes, I'm an editor. I love this. How the explanation about this. What are we here for? The visuals just match the fill of the kick really, really well. Bum, 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 bum. Everything about the visuals match that. And so that yeah. was so satisfying to watch. We use the camera motion that's swinging in front of the motorcycle to motivate a white mm. transition. Now, like I said earlier, white transitions, if you just throw it on two random shots, they look horrible, they look cheesy. But because the camera movement is already moving in the direction of the white transition, the white transition all of a sudden looks sick and it doesn't look- White transition looks sick. <laughs> cheesy. So good. I didn't know. So in her we seen that a particle effect or not or CGI. This is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> this is crazy. This shot right really, here is really crazy. Of the entire video, it's just gorgeous. 
Uh, Chef's freaking kiss. So it looks like, story-wise, I'm assuming that these are aliens coming to invade a planet. And so they got, you know, weird things like webbed fingers. And then we can do a little turbulent displace match cut. Turbulence. Turbulence. A turbulence transition. Into a human hand. Mm. It makes it look like... The From aliens' hands into the human's hand. They're morphing into each other, which is way more satisfying to look at instead of just a cut. It's boring if it's like that. Bro, every single cut. Bro, this is literally insane. I need to get better at editing. It's time to head to Skillshare. Bro, every single cut is delicious. I agree with that. If you boil down the theory and the psychology of every single editing decision, it's to try to blend shots together. To try to go from one shot to the next in yet creative way. Because if you just try to make it smooth and blur them together every single time, it's not gonna be fun to watch. So it looks like she's in VR. That part, that, that part actually kind of bothered me a little bit. It, it didn't quite match the rhythm. And if you know, I'm a sucker for rhythm. I want stuff to match the beat and feel really nice. It was kind of early. I would have edited it like this. Lots of times when you see just a quick flutter cut like this, that's just inverts. But these guys are going the extra mile. If you look at the frames that are flashy, this looks like a VHS shot with like this cool streaky effect on the bottom. There's so much care and detail going into literally every frame. Mm. Oh my. That a best transition. From human face and from a robot face and to the human face. Duh. Oh my god, this! I can't even handle this music video anymore. Alright, here we go. <laughs> so we zoom into her eye. Oh, I zoom transition. Right here. Particles turn uh, particles. into the insides of a robot that just assembles themselves. Mm. So I'm primarily a picture editor, which means I don't deal with visual effects too much. The VFX artist spends days literally creating this moment. Like that takes so much work and I usually am not the one that actually does that. So just shout out to the VFX artist for making that happen. That's so cool. It's all about having good ideas, guys. So just shout out to the VFX artist for making that happen. That's so cool. It's all about having good ideas, guys. If you don't know what the effect of this, this is the clone uh, effect. Eh? They do a tree clone. They did not just do that. I've been waiting for people to do this. <gasps> Look at what just happened. This is the robot. They literally made AI frame. Oh, yeah, the AI frame. Just uh, one second. There are TikTok filters where you can make yourself look like an anime or GTA character. And there are apps uh, like Runway where you can actually type in prompts. This is the AI website. Turn an already existing image into anything you want. I actually literally just gave Hayden a gift of Hayden slapping Logan Paul into artwork using AI and I uh, gave it to him for his birthday. And so they literally took this image and then ran it through AI and it gave them this. This mm. music video is just weird enough for it to just make sense. Just one second. Ooh. 
I feel like Oof. this is the new standard. Again, we have one of those lenses. The new standard. So this little moon thing. Oof. Starts glowing, creates a lens flare. We have that same lens flare between shots. The lens flare. Whatever the problem, we're not a sound. Look at their eye. Oh my god! This video is never gonna end. <laughs> Here we go. Deciding <laughs> to cut in on a close up of them spinning, such a genius idea. It feels like crazy. Lots of motion blur. The more motion blur, the better to create tension. And then cutting to the wide shot with the spinning VFX light, also genius. Whatever the problem, we're not a sound. And then also the editor did such a good job matching the choreography. They're doing like this. The choreography. And the editor actually takes the camera and does a big zoom to match the big movement that they make with their mm. choreo. So it's small, small, big, and the camera's like small, small, big zoom. And it just, it works. It just works. Bro. More AI generated images. Let's have a look right here. Oh, I don't even see this. <laughs> All of a sudden we got AI. And it's such a great way to just blend shots together. You make an AI image of the previous shot, make an AI image of the next shot. AI image. Uh, boom. It's perfect. The amount of creative things that they did to blend the shots together is what makes it great, not the fact that they just blended them all together. Okay, we gotta keep going. So we establish <laughs> this new setup and then we do these static shots and we actually use that new setup punched in to create a match cut right there. But the element here that really blends the shots together is we have these lights in the foreground and background mm. and we actually use a similar looking overlay to blend the shots together and then reveal that there's now people standing in front. Just a quick three shot match cut and then zoom out to reveal this. And um, this is so BA bro, just like mass people in pigtails headbanging what more could you want <laughs> yeah that feels so american that would be an american music video for sure 100 percent we also have more swipe transitions but it looks yeah, swipe transition. like the girls are doing like this kind of motion and that motivates a camera swipe transition mm, yeah. it's all about having transitions that are motivated that is the only like weak part of the music video in my opinion they maybe had the middle member do slightly different choreography and it kind of just makes it look messy so just look at the choreo here i'm not a choreography expert you guys flame me in the comments before saying like jordan what you're talking about choreography you're just an editor so who are you to even mention that facts but i mean any person can kind of see that they weren't quite in sync here this is probably the best take they had and you know what they absolutely slayed 99.9 .9 percent of this No freaking way, bro. Two things. I think she's doing sign language. I don't know sign language whatsoever at all. Yeah, that is a sign language. No freaking way, bro. Two things. I think she's doing sign language. I yeah. don't know sign language whatsoever at all. Come on. Like, how cool is that? That is so cool. Let's go, XG. That's very, very cool. Look at these AI shots, bro. Yeah, this, the AI general image. Turned her into a robot. You know what? Let's honestly just try it ourselves. Make her a robot. <laughs> no. 
That's a lot. Keep the image the same, but make her look like a cartoon <laughs> cyborg. All right, I'm getting crazy stuff here. Cartoon eyes. Now this cut in there would be a little bit jarring, and so I like that all of their AI images are how they make this. a little bit more subtle. Yeah, that 3D lightning effect is sick, bro. Mm. The spin? The oh, spin. Frick. Wait, what is going on? It's done? Wait, it's not just a br bruh. That was way too short, and that last shot was way too long. The entire video was so good, and then the last shot just kind of didn't give me the right emotion. It wasn't like a, here's the end. It's so epic. It's more the, oh man, is it over? Why is the shot so long? I'm confused. It's not quite the emotion you want to leave the audience, but this is the new standard of, of K-pop production. Not so long. I'm You hear what? He said it's not quite the emotion you want to leave the audience. You hear that? But this is the new standard of K-pop. The new standard of K-pop production. production. I'm confused. It's not quite I the emotion you that. want to leave the audience. But Even XG, not a K-pop. This is the new standard but sister of K-pop production. The new standard of K-pop production. So, all I got was that. My reaction to editor, reaction to the Girl Gang music video, which is from Jordan Orm. Yeah? I love the explanation from him how they so detail to explain the every details in music video. Wow. So. Thank you, Jordan Arm, to accent the Girl Gang music video from XD. I love, I love that, I love that. I love the explanation from her, from him. Yeah, so, well, guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and hit the subscribe button below, and create pop culture, and new breed breaking boundaries. Bye! What's up?